I have traveled 3,000 miles to be with you today from Fresno, California. I've dreamt of this day for three years since the taking office of the, as the Grand Commander to be with you in the center of Times Square. 1915 to 2022. 107 years later, we find ourselves once again standing in front of the world remembering the genocide of the Armenian people at the hands of the Ottoman Turks. Is it even imaginable that after a hundred years we still need to be here, standing on this platform? Some would even argue as to why we are even still here. Why do we come together over an event that was over a hundred years ago? The Turkish government would love nothing better than for us to forget. They would like nothing better than to see us quietly go away and just disappear into history. But let me tell you this, we are not going away and we will never forget. 100 years in the history of the Armenian people is like a drop in the bucket. To make this point clear as to how good the Armenian memory is, let me only point to the Battle of Vartanans, a battle that took place 1,571 years ago, a battle for their Christian faith that the Armenians lost but eventually overcame to gain their freedom of worship. Yes, 1,571 years, and we still remember, we still commemorate. So to the world, and especially to the Turkish government, let me assure you, we aren't going away, and we will never forget. So clearly we have a problem. It's not like Turkey is a far distant land from Armenia. We can't simply ignore each other. We are tied together geographically. So we hear from time to time that a reconciliation is in the works. How hard is it to extend your hand when you look at the hand you are about to shake and you see blood on it. The stain of genocide covers the hand and can't be washed off. Trying to deny the stain, trying to cover it up, doesn't work. The only soap that will take away that stain is the admittance of what was perpetrated on the Armenian people at the turn of the 20th century. The blood that covers the hand is not merely the dried blood of history, but the fresh blood of denial. It is the blood of one and a half million Armenian people who had lived in their historic homeland for millennium. To live in peace is an admirable goal, but false peace is only temporary. History needs to be confronted, no matter how painful or distasteful it may seem. The wound of denial will never heal on its own. It only festers, growing worse as years passed. Turkey must confront its past to heal itself. As Armenians, we gather together on April 24th, not only to draw the world's attention, but as our own form of healing. We gather in our churches, in public squares, to remind ourselves and the world to never forget. There is virtually no one alive today that in their own memory has the brutality that was inflicted on the Armenian people. Yet virtually every Armenian alive today can draw on their own family history of the genocide stories of family members that were massacred. My wife's family comes from the villages of Musadakh, where Armenians stood, took a stand to defend themselves. My family has a completely different story. My grandmother was born in this country in 1899. Seeing the plight of the Armenians growing worse, her family escaped to this land of freedom. I asked my grandmother one day, had she ever met her grandmother, still living in that village in Perchaj, outside of Harpert. She said only through letters that they would exchange back and forth. I asked, what happened to those letters? She said that one day they just stopped coming. The Armenians had lived in that village for maybe thousands of years, yet one day they just stopped existing. I often wonder what happened to that village. I'm sure the buildings are still there, but the soul of that land is gone. 
It's like a person has died. The body may remain, but the soul has left. The historical lands of the Armenians are physically there. We can see them on the map, but the soul of that land has gone. We stand here today in freedom, speaking the truth. Our freedom requires us to defend that truth, to stand up and proclaim to the world that genocide has been committed and the world will not tolerate. I want to thank the Knights of Vartan Square Organizing Committee for bringing us all here again today. I also want to thank all of the co-sponsors who came by our side on this day of remembrance. The Knights of Artan was founded in 1916 to help bring, to help the victims of the Armenian Genocide. And we continue today to ask for justice to those that perished and truth to those who deny. Thank you.